to Mimi's Kitchen. Well, happy May Day. Y'all, what happened to May Day? You know, it used to be a big deal. I was talking with my sister this morning, Christine, and she told me when she lived in Wyoming that one thing they did was people made cookies and took to each other. Hmm, I kind of like that. <laughs> I think we ought to start that back. But anyway, May Day used to be just a big celebration. And I have a picture to show you after a while that you are going to love. It was when I think I was in the third grade and May Day and the Maypole dance was a big thing. So today we are going to celebrate May Day in a different sort of way. We are going to make okra rice today. Now, Sunday lunch at Mimi's, you're not gonna need that today because that recipe is not in there. But guess what? It's gonna be in the new cookbook which I am working on diligently and making good progress. So you'll get a notification of that hopefully very soon. But um, if you don't have Sunday lunch at Mimi's, oh, y'all, it has some wonderful stuff in it. So get busy and get it because when the new one comes out, you go want it too. All right, the first thing we're going to do today is to get our bacon ready. So I'm going to cut my eye on and I'm going to put it on about seven. Now, y'all... I want you to look at this. This is just bacon that I have just saved when I did other things. The recipe calls for like six to eight slices of bacon. But now I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it. I have leftover bacon and instead of frying slices, taking them out, letting them cool and get crisp, we're gonna do it like this. We just go slice our bacon right there with our kitchen scissors and we're going to let it just cook. And y'all, this is a good way to make your own bacon bits. I wanna show you how we're coming now. Y'all look at this bacon. KK said this was life changing for her. Y'all, a lot of times you have a pan and you can't even get the slice of bacon in it. And I don't know why we think we've got to do it just like it, it says to do it. So I discovered this little tip myself, and oh, y'all, it just works so good. Look at that bacon. Isn't that beautiful? That is mm -hmm. Smithfield bacon, and oh my goodness, it is the original, and let me tell you, it is good. Okay, y'all, we're going to take this bacon out. We're leaving the grease in. You don't have to worry about draining it, because now we're going to put this bacon right back and when we add our other ingredients, but we're gonna do a couple of things before then. This is one small onion, well, medium-sized onion that I have uh, diced. We're gonna put that right in there, right in our bacon grease, and y'all, we're gonna fry that until those onions are what they call translucent. We still want them just a tiny bit crunchy. Okay, y'all, we don't want these onions brown. So see, that's kind of what they call translucent. All right, that is a 16-ounce package of cut okra. Now, not the kind that has the bread on it. <laughs> Be sure not to get that because it won't work. And you put that right in there with the bacon. I mean, with the onions, I'm sorry, and the bacon grease. We're just going to let that cook just a little bit. We're just trying to get that okra cooked. And then we'll put all these ingredients together. All right, this is leftover rice that I had from lunch yesterday. So, y'all, this is a good way to use it. Of course, you can freeze this. Now, you know that. All right, we're going to add this. How much this is This is about three and a half cups. Maybe, might be a little bit more. But anyway, we're going to put this, add this in. Now, we're going to add our bacon in with that. Y'all, I wish you could smell this. Oh my goodness, KK, it smells good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And I'm gonna let them all get acquainted with one another. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Uh -huh. Y'all, it smells so good. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I got this recipe the way I get a lot of my recipes. I was at a family reunion and Going through the line, I saw this and I thought, mm, that looks interesting. So I got a helping of it. When I ate it, I thought, mm, I got to find out who made this. So I started, well, guess what? 
my own sister made it. <laughs> Christine. So, needless to say, I was easy to get that recipe. Y'all, I'm just gonna cook this for about five or six minutes now. All we're trying to do is get all the ingredients hot. Okay, y'all, here is the finished product. Now, it not only tastes good, but it really looks good. That, that's a pretty dish. Okay, y'all, I want y'all to see this, how pretty it is. All right, now, the rice was left over from yesterday. The beans were left over from yesterday. The orange fluff was left over from yesterday. I did slice of this tomato, so <laughs> this makes just a wonderful meal. Now, this can be a side dish, or it can be a main, because you see how pretty it is, and... You've got the bacon in there. You have the okra, the rice. Oh, my goodness, y'all. It's just so good. Now, I want to show you something. I told you I was going to show you a picture. KK, can you zoom in on that? Y'all, that is me, and that is my sister, Christine. I guess I was probably in maybe the third or fourth grade. I'm not really quite sure. My mother made that costume out of crepe paper. <laughs> I don't know if y'all even know what crepe paper is, but it was really perfect for making these costumes. Y'all, we wore those costumes every day after May Day. And we just had so much fun with them. And I never will forget Christine's costume. Our cat had kittens on top of her costume <laughs> and she cried all day. <laughs> so those were just wonderful times to remember. May Day was just such a big thing. We did the Maypole and did the dance, you know, and did the ribbons all down. Oh, it was just such a beautiful thing and just such wonderful memories. Oh, I just loved my childhood. We just had the best time. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing my videos. That's the way other people get to see them. And everybody remember, shine for Jesus.